So these past couple of days have been interesting. I have been hanging out on a cruise ship traveling from Chongqing to the Three Gorges Dam on the Yangtze River. For the past couple of days, I've been visiting Fengdu Ghost City. I've been to the White Emperor Palace. Uh, I've been to the Three Gorges and looking at them from, from the river. Tomorrow is one of the big events because tomorrow we're actually going to the dam itself, going through that ship elevator they have. The cruise actually stops there and we'll be getting off in Yichang and then heading back to Chongqing tomorrow. But let me tell you a little bit about what I've been doing for the past couple of days. So the weather isn't that great, uh, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I was hoping the weather was going to be a little bit better. But this is the first stop of our little trip. Breakfast, Fengdu, uh, a little bit further down to Zhongshan, and then uh, uh, we're going to meet uh, maybe the captain of the ship today, uh, maybe get into the, the control room, the captain's hut, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Being a, a lazy Western tourist, I had to take the cable car, cable car up to the top because it's raining. We don't want to deal with it. Uh, but there are still steps. Uh, I was not cut out for this. Need to hit the gym when I get home. One of the first of the bigger attractions inside the Fengdu Ghost City is this bridge behind me. There are a lot of people here, but you can just see it behind me. It's a very, very, very old bridge, one of the national relics in the area. And the reason why this bridge is so famous is because if you can walk across it smoothly, uh, it's supposed to symbolize that you're a good person, that you're a wonderful person even. Um, but if you can't cross it smoothly, especially on a day like this where it's a little bit rainy, it means that you're maybe still a good person, but you may have to pray a little bit on it to, to maybe become better. So it's a big tourist attraction that a lot of people want to cross this bridge and want to try and do it uh, easily. And that's why everyone is lining up to, to have a go at it. So we've made it to what looks like the top of one of the mountains, one of the bigger pagodas here behind me. And I think we are coming towards the end of the guided trip to the Fengdu Ghost City. There's been a lot of people, there's a lot of commotion, a lot of people moving around, but overall, it looks like a very interesting place and definitely a place that I would want to come back to later on. My only regret is that I don't have enough time to walk around and really dig into the details and figure out what's going on. But uh, it's 
sometimes you just need to have a reason to come back to, to visit the place again. So I think we're just about to head back down, back to the ship and uh, get some lunch. We're gonna see if we can find our way down. We've lost our tour guide. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can find our way down. After leaving Chongqing on Thursday evening, the first stop of the cruise was on Friday morning at the Fengdu Ghost City. Now this was the first tour off the boat, going into the Fengdu Ghost City and experiencing what the city had to offer. We uh, were taken around by local tourist guides who were very knowledgeable and sort of shared all the stories and all the, the histories about the buildings and what you could see. And the Ghost City is a really interesting place. I've never been there before myself. I'm not really... Uh, a person who believe in, believes in ghosts or, or in spirits, but it was actually very interesting to see all these buildings and these monasteries and knowing what the local people there uh, believe. So that was a really cool trip. I wish we'd had a little bit longer, but there is a good reason why we couldn't stay for as long as I wanted to, because there are many other activities um, that, you can, that you can participate in during these cruises. So you just have to make the best of what you have, and uh, I tried to do just that. So I got some photos, I got some videos, and uh, it was a really cool trip. After coming back from Fengdu Ghost City, we had lunch on the ship, um, and then I had a chance to explore the ship a little bit more on my own, and also I had a chance to speak with a guy named Vincent, who is a, a guide working on the ship, um, and he was able to tell me more about the company, the ship, uh, how many people you can have on the boat, and, and lots of details like that. And a little bit more about his own personal experience working on cruise ships like these. He was also kind to take me to the bridge where the ship is being controlled from by the captain and some of the first officers. Uh, really cool because I got to go in there by myself and I got to, to uh, honk the horn, uh, I guess you can say, on a ship, right? Do you honk horns on a ship? What, do you honk horns? All right, whatever. I made noise. Wow. This is just one big open deck. It is the break. Wow. I'm trying to resist the urge to touch every single thing I see. <laughs> yeah, it's just a look at the wheel. It's not as you imagine, it's big, it's just tiny. <laughs> But I can control for 10,000 at the time of the ship. Yeah. That is this one in the hand. Power engine right here. Maximum. That is not a maximum power. Maximum power would be like 26 kilometers per hour. Right. Now, so what are we doing now? Now. 10-ish? Let me say uh, 16. 16? 16? Yeah, 16 point Reasonable speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, yeah, there are center of the circle is where we are. Right. This is the shores, this boat ahead of us, each circle, uh, 500 meters. 500 meters. Yeah. The speed of the ship, the kilometers per hour, the depths, 44, 45 meters right. deep, right here. How far down does the ship actually go? Uh, down three meters. Three meters? Three meters. Wow, that's not much. Yeah. Uh, definitely the best seats in the house. You can see everything from up here. It must look really good in like the early morning and like when the sun goes down. That's right, yeah. That must be like Yeah, yeah. I, I when I got spectacular. some photos, some shots when sun shining, sunrise and yeah. sunset. Well oh, it's a beautiful place here. Yeah, I can I imagine. Talk some. Yeah, there's horn, horn, press, like a horn on. Yeah. 
You want to try it? I can fire the horn? Uh, Are you sure? No, uh, yeah. Am I not yeah. going to scare people by doing that? Uh, no, no, no. That's <laughs> Which one? This one. Huh? Just press it. Yes, it's short. I'm not sure. Cool point. That, one better. that one's better. Yeah. Let's see if we can hear it on here. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that was loud. <laughs> So first of all, thank you for taking the time to, to sit. I'm sure you're busy and you have a lot of stuff to do with all the guests uh, and stuff to take care of. Um, I was wondering, you've been kind enough to, to, to talk to me yesterday about uh, yeah. the trips and stuff, but could you give me like an introduction to the ship and like the company, the Yangtze Gold Cruise Company? Oh, yeah, first of all, Yangtze Gold Cruise is a state-owned enterprise. Mm -hmm. It is the largest cruise line on the Yangtze River. Uh, so far, we have uh, seven cruise ships, and we are planning to make uh, the new one. Uh, we just uh, fly it maybe next year, and yeah. in another two years' time, we'll bring the new ship to come to the Yangtze River. Wow. Uh, and the Yangtze Gold cruise ship, uh, Yangtze Gold 2, uh, this uh, was built in the year 2012. Uh, when this uh, ship was built, I was the very first uh, staff kind oh, of really? cruise. Yeah, I was, <laughs> was on the maiden voyage yeah. of the ship. And uh, so this is, uh, when this ship was built, this is the biggest cruise ship on the Yangtze River. Yeah. And probably the biggest uh, cruise ship of the inland rivers of yeah. the world, because the river is too big and it's too deep. And the ship is uh, 150 meters long, 24 meters wide, right. and more than 17,000 tons. Total that's, that's capacity heavy. is 570 passengers. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a lot. We actually saw uh, just earlier. We saw the Yangtze Gold Seven pass by on on that, one side. That's right. They, because the Yangtze River cruise almost uh, like uh, this every week, one week or round a trip. Yeah. So we have a seven cruise ship now, and uh, we have uh, every day we have one ship. It starts from uh, Chongqing yeah. and it starts yeah. from uh, Yichang, and uh, so. This morning, well, it's just uh, it's afternoon. Yeah, just after just lunch. Just after we came time. back from lunch. I, I, yeah, just yeah. came back from lunch. We saw the Yans go to seven. That's right. Let's go back to Chongqing. Yeah. So, so you and I spoke a little bit last night about the program, and I know that last night uh, on the first day, people just sort of come on the boat. They get settled in. There is a welcome party in the bar, and then this morning we went to Fengdu. But what is the plan for for like the rest of the trip? Oh, uh, the first uh, we have all uh, beautiful things to say like tomorrow. And uh, also in the evening, we have the big show. I think you are oh, going yeah. to say you're going to record it. Yes. Oh, that is uh, the, only the three quarters dam is uh, built. And we are going to make uh, this three quarters uh, golden loot for travelers, not only to see the mountains and the gorgeous rivers, mm. but we have some other uh, entertainment shows. It was quite a professional open air, yeah. uh, quite fantastic. But if you wanted to know more about the Chinese history, about the Three Kingdoms period, <laughs> that would be more interesting. Yeah. Uh, and uh, tomorrow will be the, another historic site, the White Emperor City. Well, that is a view is uh, featured at the back of 10 yeah. Chinese money, the picture. Yes. That's tomorrow morning one. And tomorrow uh, afternoon, uh, our ship will pass through the three gorges right. uh, to see the mountains, cliff sides, on the either side of the river, and we'll change it even to a smaller uh, boat for the mini three, uh, lesser three gorges yeah. called Xiao Sanxia. And also we have the mini three gorges, the Xiao Xiao Sanxia, <laughs> as I said, uh, tongue twisters. <laughs> tongue twisters, <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous, gorgeous for you. Xiao gorgeous, Sanxia, gorgeous. Xiao Xiao Sanxia. Well, that is amazing, beautiful, picturesque view. It's also um, because even, I mean, the, the the cruises started in Chongqing a long time ago, like sailing down the rivers must have been something that has existed for a while. Doing a cruise down the Yangtze River must have been famous for a long time, but why is it still so famous? And why is it that so many people are still coming to, uh, to sail on these cruises? Uh, yeah, first, uh, the cruise ships now is much better, mm. they're much better than 1990s even. 
and before the construction yeah. of the dam. Uh, we have a longer, wider, and even more uh, stable. And you, you cannot feel the ship is moving. I was and just about to say clear. that when you said stable, like the ship is very, very, very smooth. Like yeah, every now and right. then you'll, you'll feel like the ship is turning or something, but you don't feel like waves or anything. Of course, sailing on a river should also be smoother than sailing yeah, on the ocean. But. Yeah, yeah, this river ship is quiet. Yeah. And this, this is one thing. Another thing, and uh, three gorges, there's, the scenery is still there. Yeah. You know, some people believed, oh, the dam is built, the three gorges, the view is submerged, and, yeah, and you cannot see the three gorges, yeah. but actually the three gorges are there. And uh, the dam is another, you know, attracting yeah. place as a destination. It's still, the, isn't it still like the biggest man-made it is the engineering project. Yeah, hydropower dam like project. Ridiculously big. Like, if, if one thing that I've learned about China is that in China everything is just bigger and better. Like, the things here were so big. Yeah. And they're also just it. built really fast because even even considering the scale of the dam, like the the time it took to build it, yeah. in in Western countries, we were like, 